Well, himself. then let me ask you this. Could it be the return of the director? It is becoming the return of the director. Actually, yes, it can be. And I think that those voices are sticking out now because movies used to be really 10 or 20 years ago. They were star driven. They were driven yeah. by the actors. Yeah. Now they're driven by the filmmakers. And right. I mean, obviously the content, and the subject matter is, is the biggest thing. What's but the big word you always use? Auteur? Auteur filmmakers. Yeah. 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 So I'd like the Safdie brothers are a great example of it. Uncut yeah. Gems was a massive success yeah. for A24. It did yeah. like 50 or 60 million because those are directors that people want to work with now. But that's, that ties into everything where these filmmakers, people don't, necessarily respect i think the brands all that much like the marvel stuff and everything it's like people will be in them because they're big paydays but the quality of the material is not great it's not something an actor can seek their teeth into they would much rather be amy adams going to do um you know that show with patty uh patricia clarkson broken little pieces or whatever that show's called yeah. or like you know they would rather go these these limited series or do these interesting things in tv or work with smaller indie filmmakers who are doing material that actually sort of challenges them in an actor and tickles their creative bones and like makes them work for it nowadays which the studios are like their material is not that way like so if, go let them they and they are they have to there's no because other way that they can do them if you're an Artur, what is it? Otor. Otor. Yeah. If you're an Otor filmmaker, you probably want some raw talent that's not necessarily a big name anyway. And then you kind of mold them and then they become like your guys, right? Like all those – like every Art o Otor movie we've talked about in the past like two weeks between Clockwork Orange and Kubrick's guys versus like Tim Burton's guys, like they, they kind of get them relatively unknowns. Maybe they've done one or two things. They saw them in, they liked them, and then they become – Johnny Depp's not shit without Tim Burton, right? Like, well, you can argue, mm, yes, Johnny yeah, Depp. No, no, he I'm not going to talk about that. But, one, like, but. that's what I think, like, if the director comes back, the movie star will follow. Whether or not that movie star then becomes a social media presence, I don't really know. But I think the idea of a movie-driven movie star and directors and, and actors pairing together to create powerhouses again mm -hmm. is about to come back. Well, I don't know that that's ever left, but what I'm saying is that talented people in Hollywood want to work with other talented people. And a lot of people – That's just life. A lot of people have well, how taken – How the fuck do you think you two got here? <laughs> Obviously. That's the only reason I'm right. doing this show. Um but no, a lot of people have they are very open about this. I took this job because I wanted to work with this director. The script wasn't good, but I wanted to work with whoever this Alfonso Cuarón or Guillermo del Toro. Like Noah. obviously they would have good scripts, you know. But like, yeah, it's like people people want to work with those types of people, and that goes for you know like middle aged movie stars, like you know the Benedict Cumberbatches and Nicole Kimmons or whoever. Like they're not gonna be doing. Well, I shouldn't use them because they both are in big studio superhero movies but like that level of people are not just going to be into like the, the franchise studio movies a either they're too old or b like the role's not interesting or good enough for them like denzel is great you know he's a little on the older side but he's not going to be in a fucking marvel movie or whatever but he still wants to work with talented people that's why he's doing macbeth with the coen brothers and francis mcdormand which by the way is going to be fucking amazing but um yes, but yeah Benedict so, so those people do want to work with other talented people but the thing is what you were saying about movie stars, like they'll they'll still be movie stars, and that's fine. But the ability to grow new ones is not going to be possible because of the advent of social media. I mean, Tom Holland is kind of a movie star, but only because of Marvel and Timothy Chalamet and Saoirse Ronan, who I think are like the only ones off the top of my head that are that talented that could be movie stars. He just gave you one. Who? Anna Joy Taylor. Anya Joy, yeah, but I mean, she's not a movie star. She was not in the yet. Queen's Gambit, which was great, and she's been in movies, but 